What's up everyone, Leviathan here with another Premiere Pro tutorial for FPV video editing. Today I'm going to talk about the dolly zoom effect and my favorite transitions pack. This video tutorial is sponsored by NewbieDrone.com. At NewbieDrone you can find all of the parts and accessories you need for the best FPV experience. NewbieDrone.com, providing awesome products and awesome customer service for all new and experienced pilots alike. Here's a quick example video of what I'll be teaching you today. So the very first effect here you'll see is called a dolly zoom. If you focus on the background, you'll notice it looks like it's changing size, like a perspective distortion. It's a really neat effect that looks great with any fast forward flight footage. Here we are in Premiere Pro, and I've already selected a few clips to work with and added them to the timeline. So right here, as you can see, I have a piece of footage of me just flying straight and kind of quick, a uh, very basic shot. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and make sure this clip that you're going to work with is selected and then come up here to your video effects. And you're gonna find scale and you're gonna add a keyframe. And then you're gonna scale it up to, on my footage, I'm shot in 2.7K, so I'm gonna go 150%. Uh, it might vary what looks good depending on the res resolution that you've shot in. Uh, so then I'm gonna drag that keyframe all the way to the beginning because we're gonna start zoomed in and end up zoomed out. And then I'm gonna hit the reset parameter button right here and that's gonna create another keyframe back to 100%. And I'll drag this one all the way to the other end of the clip. Now, if we watch the clip, you will see the dolly zoom effect uh, in action. And if you notice in the background, it looks like it's expanding, almost like the field of view is becoming wider. And so it's just a simple dynamic effect that you can add to pretty much any footage, but it looks best with like a fast forward flight. All right, that's it for the dolly zoom effect. Next, I'm gonna show you a great free transitions pack I got from orange83.com. The link to the download is in the video description. Like I said, it's free, but you will have to use an email address to download it. There are also some pay presets on their site that I highly recommend browsing through. Once you have the transitions pack downloaded and extracted, just find your effects panel and right click on presets and select import presets. Browse to your extracted folder and open the orange 83 preset file. Okay, so now that we have the dolly zoom effect in, uh, the next shot as you can see is another kind of fast forward flight. When you're switching between two motions that are the same, that's usually when these effects packs that we're going to be using will look the best. I'm going to make a zoom transition between this fast forward flight and this fast forward flight. So I'm going to scrub to right in between the two clips. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to back out 10 frames. So if you hold shift and go left arrow, it's going to go back five frames. So I'll do that twice. Then I'm going to clip the frame right there. And then I'm going to go back forward 10 and then forward again 10 so it's 10 into the second clip and I'm going to clip it right there. So the next thing you need to do is you need to add an adjustment layer. So come over here to your project and right click, go to new item and add adjustment layer. Then the resolution should match your project settings already so just hit enter and you have adjustment layer right here. So drag that over and line the very beginning of it up with the first cut on the first clip. And then you're going to cut it off at the end of the second clip right there. Oh, you can delete the excess adjustment layer, you're not going to need it. Head over to your effects panel and in the search bar type orange. You can see right here is my transition pack number three from orange83.com. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a smooth zoom in transition. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the zoom in preset and we're going to add it to the adjustment layer. And then what you need to do is you need to add the main preset. And for zooming in, I believe the main preset needs to go on to the second clip. Not on the first clip, it will look all messed up. So we're gonna add it here. And that should be all you need to do. So I'm gonna scrub through and just make sure that it's looking right. Um, most likely your computer won't be able to render that in real time in a smooth way. But that's the clip right there. So I'm gonna add this music. I think it's already lined up and then we're gonna play this with music so you can see what it looks like. There you have it. Now let's move on to the next transition. So pretty much all of the effects on this transition pack can be applied the exact same way with one exception, actually two exceptions. With zoom in and zoom out, you don't add the main preset to both clips, you only add it to one. So for all the other um, 
transitions in this list, you will add main preset to both clips. So the next one I'm going to do is going to have one of those type of transitions. So I like to use this one we're going to do now with the with a roll. You can make this transition look pretty good with just a straight cut, but if you add this effect to it, it kind of smooths it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find two rolls that are going the same direction. So we have one right here. And so what I'll do is I'll scrub forward, tell them at the end of the trend or the end of the roll, I'm going to look for the most blurry or motion blurred part of it, which is about right here. I'm going to make my cut. I'm going to delete off the excess and then I'm going to drag my next clip. And now we'll find the end of the roll on this, which looks like it's already lined up for it right there. So you're going to have this. And it's going to, oh, wait. So it looks like we need to bring it to right here. And again, find the most blurred section of the end of the roll. That looks like about right there. So I'll cut this, I'll trim this clip up and then drag it over. So right now it's probably gonna look pretty good. Might've been a little too early on this one, but whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Yeah. And the next thing you need to do, just like before, is you need to make sure you're in the center of the two clips. And this time I'm only gonna go over six frames. Cut it, go back six frames, cut it. Now I'm going to add the same adjustment layer on top. And just like before, we're going to clip it to the size, delete the excess. Now, where you need to decide if it's a clockwise or counterclockwise. So you grab the main effect that you want to use, drag it over to the adjustment layer and let it go. And here we should be able to see if it's trying to spin it the right direction. That looked backward. Right. And Felt like that was back. Let me uh, undo that and I'll add clockwise. See if that one's working. Yeah, that one looked right. Okay, so then, like I said before, on all but zoom in and zoom out, you need to add the main preset to, the, to both clips. I'll do that there. And now the effect should be moved. All right, let's go ahead and render that and watch it. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So I would, what I would do is I would mess around with all of these effects or all of these transitions and see which ones work for what situation. And then when you come across that situation while you're editing your video, you can add it on there and it adds another layer to your edit. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something on here.